Hey, it's Dan, and it is time for another trade paperback review. This time I'm reviewing from Boom Comics, Coda Volume 1. And this is written by Simon Spurrier and illustrated by Mateus Bergara. And uh, this one was a little bit of a surprise. Um, I really wasn't sure what this was going to be like. Um, I'm not even sure if this video is going to take... I always take these chances with, like, comic book series that I read that I think are really, really good, and then sometimes you guys don't click and watch them. But stay tuned, because I'm going to tell you about this really, really cool series. Um, this is a fantasy post-apocalyptic uh, book. It's about this guy who... Everybody refers to him as Mr. Hum. Um, he's kind of mysterious. He doesn't really have a name. He doesn't really reveal his background. He journals everything. Um, he's on a crusade to try and rescue his wife. And we know very little about him or his wife, but he rides around on this unicorn. Yes, you heard me right. It is a unicorn. Although technically they say at one point it is technically a pentacorn, not a unicorn. And it is a unicorn with a foul mouth. It loves to swear. And in this wasteland of a world where there are elves and mermaids and orcs, and it's a little bit Mad Max, it's a little bit the day after and it is unlike the Lord of the Rings in so many ways. Um, the art for this was fantastic. I love the way they don't really explain there's this event called the Quench that has what or what is the thing that has made this world into a wasteland. And I want to talk about it so bad, but I don't want to spoil it at the same time. Um, that is revealed in the end of Volume 1, along with another little surprise. And guys, this was so, so good. Um, I was really unsure whether I wanted to, because I, I had the opportunity to pick up Volume 2 immediately after this. And I think I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go grab Volume 2, because this was really, really good. Um... Not only is this whole, like, there's the mystery of the quench, but these people, the citizens of this world, are addicted to this substance called acker. And acker kind of gives them, like, it's like this liquid, this green liquid that they can ingest that kind of rejuvenates them, makes them strong. And I can't say anything about that either because I'd be spoiling it. And they reveal that origin of that in the end of this book. But yeah, I cannot gush about this anymore. It was really real. I haven't read a good great fantasy series like this since Fair Lady. And yeah, I'm going to talk about Fair Lady in my best uh top 10 of 2020. But this was a really really good one. I gave this a 4 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. Very well worthwhile checking out. Um, of course, as always, for those of you guys in the U.S., I will have a link to Amazon for you to pick this up for yourselves. For those of you international folks, I will have a link to bookshop.org. And if you got something out of this video, if you enjoyed it, like, share it, and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm going to also throw down my coffee link if you don't mind donating a, a coffee or two. I could use the energy and the motivation. Did I mention to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell? Yes, please do that if you want to see more comics, graphic novel, and trade paperback reviews. Definitely hit that subscribe button. This has been Dan. You have been you. 2020 has been one hell of a year. Let's hope 2021 is better. Stay healthy and be good to each other.